Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today is not going to be a very long video, but before we start, uh, I just want to say sorry for not uploading. If you did not watch the last video, my SSD got corrupt and everything on it got wiped. So I haven't had the code or anything like that. Uh, I've been slowly building back up my code here, trying to keep it as close to what's in the videos as possible. Um, it's not all here, so don't like look at this video and copy the other code if you want it to be fully up to date with what we've been doing. Uh, just go back and watch the other videos on those. Uh, today though we are going to be going over command errors. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go over like specific command errors. So we'll just take uh, we'll just take kick here for example. So what we want to do is come down here and we'll do at kick dot error sync def and then I will show you the docs for this real quick um, so this is the one doc for it this is what we're going to be doing uh, after the specific command error this is like this will catch any errors so if the command doesn't already have an error like a command to it then that will catch the thing for us just kind of saves time if you're building a big bot it'll save a lot of time um, just like for uh, and it just saves time <laughs> so I don't know why my brain just had a huge brain fart there but if you don't feel like going through each individual command and giving it its own error uh, this event that we'll go over after we go over this command thing uh, we'll catch any of them and just kind of give a, a basic um, command error. So if we go back here, um, we're going to do AC def and then we'll do kick error. And then we want to do self ctx and error. And then we will just do a basic little message here uh, wait ctx.send. And then we'll do you. Or I will just say there has been an error in the kick command. And then we want to start up the bot. Oh, okay. Okay, I will be right back. It, you know, probably would have been smart of me to make sure the bot, after I recoded it, worked. So I will be right back as soon as I get this started. Okay, so now that the bot is online, um, if we come back in here and we try to do kick and we don't put anything after that. So normally, you know how we have it in here, uh, it says we have to give a member and then there's an optional reason. So we didn't give anything, so it pulled up the error. So that's, I mean, you can do more with that command, but um, I prefer using the actual event for that. So what we're going to do now is shut this off. And then while that's shutting off, we're going to make a new cog, just to keep things organized. We'll call this error.py. And then we're going to grab our cog stuff, put them in here. Then change up the things that need changed. If I can spell today. Okay, so now that this is set up, what we want to do is get a kind of an event here. So at commands dot cog dot listener, and then async def, and then now we're going to be using that uh, on error command wherever it went. So 
So we're going to be using this on error command here. And what this does, like I said, it grabs any errors. So it's honestly just a very helpful thing to use rather than going around and doing um, a help error thing for every single command. Saves a lot of time and is probably one of the most helpful things in my opinion. So what we're going to do is go back here and do on error on error well one to do self again and then ctx and error so this one I will just do um, an embed for just because it is something that I think is what you should be doing um, but what we're also going to do is has attribute so has attr and this means if um, if the command already has an error message to it like that one that we gave the kick command it will not run through this so that just checks if it's already got an error message and if it does it's gonna not run this that we're doing now and we'll do embed equals discord dot embed title equals and then we'll do the formatting error in and then ctx dot command that'll get the name of the command that the error is in and then we will do description equals once again put the format in there and then we're going to want those boys the code block things in discord not sure the actual name of it um, but we will do ctx dot command dot qualified underscore name and then space and then we want ctx dot command dot signature and then we want to give what the error was so like what what caused it to trigger the event so for that we'll just put in error and that'll grab the error that uh, triggered the event and here we may as well give it a color color equals 0x43 and then now we will just do await ctx.send embed equals embed and then if those don't work we will just do accept and we'll just copy this So once we copy that, we will just get rid of the qualified name and signature, and we'll just have it. Whoa. We will just have it print the error if it gets into an accept. Uh, so that should be it. So if we go ahead and turn the bot back on, and then go back here. So if I do kick again, that'll go through the same one that we did earlier. But say I do ban. Oh, we got errors. We forgot to this. I always forget this. Uh, so what you want to make sure you want to do again is come in here, make sure you put in the new cog that we added. I don't know how I always forget that. Okay, let's try this again. So now if we do ban, it is still not picking that up. That is very strange. Uh, let's do on command 
error, see if that does anything. Open this back up. Third time is a charm. Hey, there it goes. So user is a requirement that is missing, and then it says there's an error in band. Or if we do um, purge. So see, with purge, we already have the if number is none. So purge technically has its own error message. It's just built into the command itself with the none. Um, but that is about it for that. Uh, if you guys have any questions on this or if you find something that I've missed with it, let me know. Uh, I will try to get another video out this week. Um, sorry for the bad upload schedule. I am working on getting it better. Just like I said, the whole SSD getting wiped thing kind of had a little... Uh, setback. So I will see you guys next time and uh, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So I will see you in the next one.